Nowadays, many people find themselves in a situation where they appear stable and reliable in their daily lives, but may exhibit unusually emotional behavior on social media. They might complain about absurd business travel arrangements, gripe about low performance ratings from their superiors, or lament the heavy workload assigned by their teachers. Why do we show such a large discrepancy between our behavior in real life and the online world? This inevitably brings up a word, social masks. When our inner thoughts are at odds with the environment around us, we often choose to don a social mask. For many, living with these masks has become the norm. For instance, in social settings, to maintain surface-level friendly relations, we often force ourselves to engage pleasantly with people we don't like, in corporate team-building activities, to showcase harmony with our colleagues. We might participate in dull team games. Many times, we don't want to wear the mask, but feel compelled to do so because we crave external validation. As social creatures, we yearn for acceptance and recognition from others, rather than being seen as outsiders, facing rejection and isolation. To gain the favor and acknowledgement of others, we can only present an image that aligns with external expectations, while also fulfilling the need for self-protection. We may ask ourselves, why not express our true thoughts candidly and act in accordance with our inner selves? Often, we choose silence out of fear, afraid of offending others and potentially facing harm. For example, you might feel that your best friend's posted photos on social media are overly critical, but you'll only comment on how adorable their baby looks because you fear that expressing your true thoughts might anger your friend or even lead to estrangement. Although everyone yearns to be their authentic selves, real life circumstances often don't allow us to act this way. So we resort to wearing social masks to navigate the world. Some may view this behavior as hypocritical, but in fact, the existence of social masks is a kind of redemption helping us avoid many troubles. It can help us find a balance between our self needs and external expectations, enabling us to better adapt to society. However, everything should be done in moderation. Some people excessively rely on social masks, even neglecting their true selves, which suppresses their self needs and leads to increasing anxiety. For instance, some people, Despite their own inconvenience, reluctantly agree to help others in order to maintain a friendly image, only to find themselves in anguish as a result. Therefore, wearing a mask is acceptable, but we mustn't let it obscure our true selves. If we wear the mask for too long, we might even forget what we truly look like. Before going to sleep at night, we can take a moment to focus on our true inner selves. If feeling exhausted, we can find ways to relax. When faced with situations that require wearing a mask, we can also ask ourselves whether we are willing to conform to the environment deep down. Between gaining external favor and redeeming inner turmoil, which is more important? This is something we must choose for ourselves. Although revealing our true selves may be frightening, Trying it out might lead to the realization that others appreciate the authentic you. Moreover, when you candidly express dissatisfaction, the other party may recognize the issue and make changes, which is beneficial for both parties. William is always filled with warmth and positive energy on social networks. He frequently shares snippets of life, such as enjoyable outdoor activities on weekends. His friends are often inspired by his positive attitude. However, beneath this facade of positivity lies a problem that deeply troubles William. In real life, the neighbors around his residence often host noisy parties, turning weekend nights into what seems like a nearby bar relocated to his doorstep. The deafening music, loud chatter, 
and occasional banging severely disrupt his routine. Yet, William chooses silence. He understands that expressing dissatisfaction may lead to conflicts among neighbors, even damaging their previously harmonious relationships. He doesn't want to spark unnecessary disputes among neighbors, nor be seen as overly demanding. Therefore, despite feeling resentment and helplessness, William chooses silence. As time passes, William realizes he's forced to wear a heavy social mask. Although he desires to honestly express his discontent to his neighbors, he's always constrained by the fear of potentially straining relationships. William finds himself in a dilemma, torn between maintaining a friendly image and confronting real issues. Therefore, despite feeling frustrated and helpless, William continues to wear the burdening social mask. As time goes by, William feels increasingly exhausted, realizing that this approach won't solve the problem. He decides to bravely face reality. Quietly dressing himself, he steps out of his door and approaches his neighbor's doors. He knocks on one of the doors. It opens, revealing a young neighbor with a puzzled expression, asking, Hey, William, what's up so late? William clears his throat and calmly says, Sorry to disturb, but I must talk to you about the noise issue on weekend nights. The neighbors look at him in astonishment, somewhat perplexed. William continues, I understand you also want to have fun, but your party noise affects my quality of life, and I believe I'm not the only one feeling this way. That night, William experiences the power of honesty and communication. Through negotiations, the neighbors begin to propose solutions to the problem voluntarily. They express willingness to cooperate, agreeing to control the volume and timing of parties on weekends to avoid disturbing William and other neighbors. They also spontaneously suggest noise reduction measures, such as adding soundproofing to the party venue or informing surrounding neighbors in advance to prepare mentally. Through rational communication and collective efforts, they ultimately reach a consensus on noise control. William's honesty not only advocates for his rights, but also creates a better living environment for the entire community. At the same time, the story serves as a warning against the exhaustion brought by wearing social masks and awakens courage in facing problems head-on.